106.7 WIZN. It's Jimi Hendrix and Hey Joe Heard Forner and Hot Blooded before that. I'm Joe Vega taking you through your Wednesday Rock and Ride Home. Got Ben Barry on the phone here from Martin Harding and Mazzotti to talk about uh, this uh, sort of accidental marijuana seizure that happened uh, in New York City. Ben, what's up? Joe, how you doing? So, Ben, I know you know this story it involves a hemp farmer here in Vermont uh, that sent 106 pounds of hemp to a commercial customer in uh, New York City, and that hemp was seized by the NYPD thinking that it was marijuana. So, my, I guess my question is, the NYPD appears they have some uh, egg on their face. Is that correct? Yeah, I think so. This is a really unfortunate situation for the small local Vermont producer. Right. Because this probably ties up a lot. I think it's, you know, important that when you're shipping stuff that you receive the money for the thing that you're shipping and anytime there's an authoritative figure like NYPD who's claiming that they made this bust after relentless efforts, which I think is hilarious right. and also embarrassing because right. they were acting on a tip. They were able to get the FedEx manifesto. They completely blew past the certifications that are required when you're mailing hemp across uh, state lines and just kind of chalked this up as a huge win for their department. And it's really unfortunate. I think this is a real failure on the part of the enforcement agencies. It highlights some of the issues that we're going to have to deal with. And I think it's really unfortunate because this loss is going to be felt much more significantly on the shoulders of the small producers who are trying to be compliant with the 2018 um, Farm Bill, which allows for this sort of thing to go on. Um, And, you know, they have a huge outlay with respect to um, the certification and the shipping and all of that stuff. And so huge expense for the small farmer, um, not a huge expense for the NYPD to do the due diligence that would be necessary to actually allow for the safe delivery of this product and um, really kind of a brash, unfortunate thing. Yeah. Now, does Fox Holler Farms, do you think, do they have a civil case? Probably not. I think if they did, it would be very difficult to prove. Interesting. Um, Certainly there are damages. Of course, there's going to be damages if they have to delay in getting the money that they should be receiving for the product. But again, the duty that is owed to the New York State Police is owed to the general public. And they have an interest, a vested interest in preventing what could be Schedule 1 drugs from being transported interstate and within the state. And so the police are going to be able to hide behind this larger governmental immunity that says, look, we have an interest in stopping what we reasonably believe to be drugs. I think really where the rubber meets the road is they're not going to stop a truck carrying 100 pounds of flour, seize it, and claim that it's cocaine. Um, and I think that that's really what they've done here. They've got two totally different products, right. hemp versus, uh, for versus marijuana with THC, and they're stopping it simply claiming without doing any testing or any due diligence to determine what the THC content is, and they're just kind of being splashy in the news and unfortunate for yeah. them. Right. I think that it, it is pie in their eye, um, yep. but I imagine that they're not going to release this product to the um, person who was anticipated to receive it, and I think that they're probably just going to wait until what should be public outcry uh, settles down a little bit. Wow, that is unfortunate. All right, thank you, Ben. Thank you, Joe. Ben Barry from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Again, you can call them at any time at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Mel Allen taking over from here. He's got music from The Who and The Cars coming up next.